That was the mother of 31-year-old Harry Narayan Ramnawaj who was brutally chopped to death on Sunday afternoon. After learning about the death of her son and the hospitalization of her husband, the woman broke down in tears at the Woodlands Hospital in Georgetown. She was too distraught to speak with the media. The family operates a cash crop farm on the government reserve and have been doing that for some 20 years and according to information received, Harry Narayan and his father, Randolph, saw that their banana plants were being damaged and a wooden structure erected. The two men confronted the suspect who was in the wooden structure and an argument ensued during which Harry Narayan and his father were chopped. The dead man's sister-in-law, Nufira Khan, spoke with the newsroom. I'm a runner, go. Where is my runner, go? I see my husband, brother, son, come with his hand, pour blood a leak out. So I tell him, him Pocho, lift up your hand in the ear. And he lift up his hand in the ear. And when he lift up his hand in the ear, he ride and he come. And when he come, he fall up me and me hold him. And when I hold him, I put him for later on the ground. And he lay down on the ground and I take, take a big cloud there with blood. I take the cloud and I push him in inside the hand. And me holla and people come and then give me one cloud and I push him inside the hand and I take one next cloud and, and I tie him. Harry Narayan was rushed to the Woodlands Hospital where he succumbed to his injuries. His father lost two fingers during the incident. One of the relatives, Ronald Baldio, told the newsroom that the suspect is a known character in the community. All body duck and plant in the man a thief out. Chop out the man planting just because the man got red hand in the catch and just man he start walk chop on the man just so. Run the man and chop out the man, chop the man, daddy finger out and give the, the son one chop his hand. And the man bleed to death. Meanwhile, Divisional Commander Calvin Brutus was in the area on Sunday and he spoke with the newsroom and told us of the initial information the police received pertaining to the matter. A gentleman came to the station and made a report that the suspect was seen chopping down some sucker plants belonging to him, which he farmed on a dam for years, for a number of years now, like 20 years or more. He, after making the report, he left and went back with his son to confront this individual, minus the police, and he walked allegedly with a pitchfork. The individual had a confrontation and he was chopped, both of them were chopped, about their bodies. He's admitted at Woodlands and his son was pronounced dead on arrival. The suspect is in custody with his cutlass. He has some injuries on his body as well. The suspect was taken to the Cane Grove Police Station, then escorted to the Mahaika Police Station before being taken over to the Maikoni Hospital for medical attention. Reports also indicated that the suspect was also involved in a similar chopping incident last year. Yeah, a real thief man in King Grove, man. All body thing he a thief out. Each and every body dog, he a thief. All body cow rope, he a thief out. Cow, sheep, cassava, planting, cancer thief all over. The whole place he a thief. Cans. Who okay. can son name Kans, he a thief man dad in King Room. Harry Narayan leaves to mourn his young son and wife. The police investigations are ongoing. Leroy Smith, Newsroom.